Hey there, Math201. I am going to show you how to create one of these cool graphs in Desmos like I've given you uh, in Module 2 where you can draw the graph of a function and also draw its tangent line and then read off what its slope is. It turns out you can do this all within Desmos and it's got, it's got a few moving parts to it, but that's what I want to show you how to do here. So first of all, we're going to open up a, an empty graph like this, and I'm just going to type in any function I want, but I want to make sure that I give it a name, like f of x or g of x or something. Not just type the, the formula for it, but give it a name. Okay, So f of x equals, let's go with something like 4x minus x squared. So it makes this nice little parabola. Now, uh, what I'd like to do is plot the tangent line to this graph at a point. I'm going to make this point so I can slide it back and forth, like you see in some of the activities we do. To do that, I'm going to click and create a new blank cell, and I'm going to give this point, I want to plot a point on the graph. Now, if I had a specific point in mind, like x equals 1, I would type 1, comma, f of 1. And since I defined f up here, and Desmos, Desmos knows what f of 1 is, and it will plot it right there. I can even click this label box here, and I'll put the coordinates on there. So if I have a specific point that's going to be locked in place, that's how I would do this. But I'm actually going to change this up just slightly. I'm going to give it the coordinates a, comma, f of a. Now, a is a point that is like a variable. It's what we call a parameter. It's not a fixed place, a fixed point. It's going to be something I can move. And in fact, Desmos gives me the option to add a slider. So I'm going to click that button for a. And what you see is I can now move this point back and forth by dragging the slider. I can also just grab the point and move it back and forth. And that will move the slider too. Uh, one thing about sliders, uh, or actually two things about sliders, importantly here I can change the endpoints here, like I might not want to go all the way from negative 10 to 10, let's just say I want to go from negative 2 to 6, well I would just click on the number and change this from negative 2 to 6, and if I wanted to control the number of steps I take in between uh, drags of the handle I could change that here too, but I'm going to leave it just like that. So now it only goes up to 6. And the other thing I wanted to mention is that if you click this, it actually animates it. Okay, so that's kind of fun to watch. But let's not do that right now. Now what I'd like to do is plot the equation of the tangent line that touches the graph at this point. Okay, now to find the equation of any line whatsoever, I need to know a point that's on the line, and I need to know uh, the slope of that line. Well, the slope of that line is f prime of a. Okay, so I can actually just type f prime of a, and I would know what the slope is. And notice that if I, as I drag the a, the derivative value, the slope of the tangent line changes. And that's all well and good, but I want to see the tangent line. So I'm going to leave that there for a second. Now what I'm going to do is type in a second equation for Desmos to plot here. And this is going to be the equation of the tangent line written in what we have called back in high school algebra point slope form. In point slope form, the equation of a line is y minus, I'm just going to put y1 here for the time being, equals m times x minus x1. Now that's the point slope equation for the equation for the for a line, and the x1, y1 are the coordinates of the point that's on the line, and m is the slope. Now, I already know that the slope is supposed to be f prime of a, so I'm going to put f prime of a right here. And I actually know what the coordinates of my point are going to be. The x-coordinate was a, and the y-coordinate is f of a. You can see that up here in the second cell. So if I put in this formula, what I'm going to get is the equation of the tangent line. And not only the equation of the tangent line, I see the tangent line is now being plotted over in Desmos. Now I'm going to do one thing here, and that's change some colors. It's a little hard to see with all this red. If I click the button for edit list here, I can change the color. I'll change this to, uh, let's say, black. I can also make this a little thicker if I want to. And I will change, keep this at red, but I want to change it to a dotted line, like so. And maybe I want to change the color of the point to purple. Okay, I click done, and now I have a nice looking graph. And as I move the slider back and forth, you can see that the tangent line moves right along with it. And uh, I can keep f prime of a open in this cell and see what the slope is. All right. 
And this actually works no matter what your function is. Like if I go over here and change the function to something like x plus, let's do some trig here, sine of x. Okay, I got a new formula, uh, but everything else is the same, and I can track that tangent line as it moves through. So everything you see here in the second, fourth, second, third, fourth, and fifth cells, um, that would be uh, stays the same all the time. I would just need to change the formula here. I'm going to do something new here just to run this through one more time. Let's open up a new formula function. Let's call it f of x equals uh, square root of x. Square root of x. And again, I want to put in um, a comma f of a for a random point on the graph. And I need to click add slider. There's the point. And I think I'm going to change the range here from 0 to 10 instead of uh, negative 10 to 10. And then I need to calculate f prime of a. And now I'm going to put the line up there in point slope form. y minus the y coordinate equals the slope times x minus the x coordinate. And there we have it. And I can move that slider and watch the line change. And I can read off the slope of the tangent line at any point I wish. And that's that. Enjoy.